everybody. Today I'm going to talk about making extracts, specifically lemon and orange extracts. And then of course you can apply this process to any other citrus fruit that you want. And actually the basic process applies to any extract. So let's get started talking about how to do it and kind of what you end up with it. First thing I want to do though is show you what you end up with. So I've got a couple here. Um, I've got a couple of orange and these I did uh, these I did uh, started two months ago. This one is made with a uh, white a uh, light rum. This one is made with vodka, the, the Kirkland vodka. And then I got this lemon extract that I started um, around the same time. And um, as you can see, the label oops, the label is really, really um, a little messy. So word to the wise be careful what you use to make your your labels i mean this is not the jar that's going to get end up or the bottle that's going to get ended up in that's going to end up getting used anyway i'm actually going to pour them into decant them into a smaller two ounce bottle like that so that's that so let's go ahead and move those out of the way and we can talk about what we basically need to make the extract. So the first thing you need is your booze. Uh, today we are just going to do um, vodka. This is Kirkland, which is Costco's brand. They make a really good product. But really uh, all you need is, you know, a, a decent vodka or other booze that is between 70 and 90 proof, so between 35 and 45% alcohol. And, and remember that anything that you use, the flavors that are in it are going to also be in your final extract. So if you use, for example, a rum, uh, you know, don't use a spice rum unless you want that flavor profile in, in the extract. And you know, in some things you'll be able to tell, some things you won't. But definitely if you're making something like, you know, a sugar cookie or something like that, like the, the flavor profile is really gonna probably make a difference. So, you know, just kind of be aware. The second thing you need is um, the lemon and, and or orange zest. And you can see like here, uh, I, I actually peeled those off using using a potato peeler, like a vegetable peeler. Um, it's really important that whatever you do, you don't get the pith, the white part, because that is just bitter and, and nasty. But I mean, if you're if you're used to zesting for cooking, it's, it's the same thing. You can also use a, a microplane grater, which is what I used for the original ones I did. I did the peeler this time because I just kind of want to see the difference. Uh, the, I would say the peel is probably going to end up looking a lot better, looking a lot prettier, especially if you make an effort to make the peels like thin and pretty. I kind of didn't. I just, you know, I just did the peel. It's just kind of how I do. I tend to be messy about things, but I'm sure it's going to end up great anyway. And then, um, and then you need, you need bottles. Like I got these bottles, uh, kind of bought them in bulk, I think I got like 20 at a time for a really good price, but you don't have to buy special bottles. You can use uh, mason jars or, you know, reuse food jars, whatever you have on hand. Uh, I would just make sure that the, um, that they're glass and that the lids aren't gonna impart any uh, off flavors to your final extract. So let's go ahead and start by kind of squishing these in and make sure I put the right ones in the right. So I'm just gonna <laughs> shove these in here. It's a little bit different when you use the micro print plane grater because then you just uh, kind of squish them. Well, I mean, I guess it's similar, but it's a little bit easier with the micro plane grater or faster anyway. This is actually a pretty fast process. So, it's going pretty quickly. 
Try to get that where you can kind of see what I'm doing. I am new at doing videos and I'm really bad about accidentally doing things off camera because I'll pull the thing that I'm working on off. It's really awkward, honestly, to be reaching out like this, but you know, life is awkward. Certainly my life is, so. All right, so we got it. And by the way, this is one orange worth of uh, zest. Same with the lemon. It's one lemon's worth of zest. So, um, you know, uh, wash your fruit before you use it, of course. But don't, don't you know, scrub it. Don't definitely don't do anything that's going to uh, leach out the oil. Right, because the oil is what the oil combined with the um, alcohol is what makes extract. It's not dirt, that's just some discoloration on the lemon peel. I tried to wash it off and it would not wash off, and then I finally realized it was actually just part of the lemon. So, you know, it's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. Really, nothing has to be perfect. That's kind of my motto. Okay, so you got that in there. And now, I'm going to add the um, alcohol. So I'm going to measure out a cup, eight ounces, for each of these. Do it one by one. And you know, if your bottle is a little smaller or whatever, you can go a little bit shy of a cup and that's fine. You know, it's, it's not like medicine. It doesn't have to be precise. Awesome. I do recommend using a funnel, a collapsible funnel like these are great because they fit in your drawer. Okay, so here we go. The cup of vodka almost in definitely make sure you leave enough headspace to shake it because you're gonna have to shake this every week for you know I really oh wow that is so much prettier than the um microplane wow that's so cool looking um so as far as how long to let these process I would say from, in my experience, it's taken way, it takes way less time than the vanilla. Like even after a month, the, the lemon was um, much superior to the lemon extract that I purchased from the store. So, you know, if for, say you wanted to make this and you had a month notice, you absolutely could be ready to go and hand these off in a month. Like pretty soon I'll probably go ahead and strain the, um, <clears throat> strain the zest out of the other ones because I will have had probably extracted all the flavor that I'm going to extract from it, from them. But yeah, I'm, I'm enamored of this whole, like peeling it with the, um, the peeler kind of thing because that's so really so pretty all right same thing with the lemon and then you just pour it in and the the lemon and the orange you know you don't won't use them as much as vanilla probably but they do have one advantage in that they're really, really inexpensive. Like vanilla beans are pretty expensive, but lemons and oranges are not. Um, and like I said, you end up with a so much superior product to what you can buy at the store. So let's go ahead and put the lids on these. These these lids actually they have a. Um, um, they, they come with a little thing you can blow dry them and they kind of suck to the to they kind of melt to the um, neck of the bottle um, and, you know again 
totally unnecessary. So we're just going to shake those up. And we will shake them up. Like I set a reminder, a weekly reminder on my phone. So every Saturday morning it goes off and it reminds me to shake them up. And, you know, I, I think probably the form doesn't really matter. So I'm guessing that in a month these will also be ready to go. So that's it. Lemon and orange extracts look way better than what you could buy at the store. And it looks like these especially are going to make such cool gifts, which is what I'm doing them for now that I have my own. So that's it. And uh, see you next time. And thanks for watching.